Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jose Cornejo and I'm a JDM A-Star. In today's video, we're going to be doing a switchback comparison between our best-selling switchbacks, which are the 3030 series, the 3020 series, and the 2035 series. Now, the first thing you have to understand is how a switchback works. A switchback works exactly like your factory dual filament turn center wall where it's got a low and a high output. If we take a brake and a tail lamp as an example, the brake lamp would be the higher intensity and the tail lamp would be the lower intensity. Like a switchback, it'll work the same way. The amber replaces the higher intensity and the white color light replaces the lower intensity. Most cars have the exact same setup in their front turn signal bulb with the exception of those that have single filament turn signals. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. All right, the first bulb we'll talk about is the 2835 switchback. This switchback bulb uses a color rating of 6,000 Kelvin for the white color temperature. The amber is roughly 3,000 K amber. It has an intensity rating of 1,200 lumens per bulb. The advantage with this one, it's five-sided, so it provides an even disbursement of light inside the lamp housing. All right, the second switchback is the 3020 series. Uh, this switchback uses a white color 6500K color temperature, so a little bit more blue hue in it. 3000K amber for the turn signal. Each bulb is equipped with 12 high power 3020 type diodes. The advantage with this bulb, it has a high light efficacy or lumen to wattage ratio and strong thermal resistance at the diodes. The third switchback bulb is our most popular one yet. Uh, it's the 3030 series. Each bulb provides an intensity rating of 1500 lumens per bulb in a xenon white color. Uh, the white color temperature has a color rating of 6000 Kelvin with a 3000 K amber temperature for the turn signal function. Each bulb is equipped with 16 high performance 3030 type diodes which also offer a high thermal resistance. These are perfect for those looking for the brightest turn signal, parking, or running light. And it also provides a full 360 degree light disbursement in the housing. All right, so that was a comparison between our best three selling switchback bulbs. Now, just a couple things to look out for if you're looking to replace your front turn signals for switchbacks. First of all, we've mentioned this in all of our videos, verify your size. Look at your owner's manual, look at your stock bulb just by pulling it out and that'll help you confirm which size switchback bolt to be going for. Uh, second, the largest factor that'll determine which switchback bulb you'd go for would more than likely be the intensity difference. And of course, if you guys ever have any questions on which ones work best, give us a call or leave us a comment below. And that pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Consider subscribing to help support the channel and stay tuned for next week's video.